What is up amigos? Today we're talking about how vortex generators affect a car's aerodynamics. And vortex generators are seen sometimes, often they're seen at the back of a car before the rear window, but really they can be put anywhere on a car where separation is occurring and there is a pretty strong chance that they'll make the flow stay attached. So if you don't know how vortex generators work, check out this video here. And in terms of a sedan, the rear window here, if you don't know the aerodynamics of this general shape, check out this video here. So we're going to be focusing mainly on this rear window. As I mentioned, that's where most vortex generators do get put. So why is that? Well, if this rear window is too steep compared to the roof, then the flow will come along and detach. So it'll separate and we'll get very low pressure on this surface here. Now, the way that vortex generators work is a little bit more complicated than what they're generally given credit for. So the idea is that we mix higher momentum fluid into the boundary layer here so that this flow over this very sharp corner here has a lot of energy so it can stay attached. Ideally, it will stay attached over the entire back window here. As such, the pressure will actually increase. So that's good for the drag because if you have a low pressure here, we have low pressure on the rear here, high pressure on the front, on the windshield, that creates a pressure difference and increases the pressure drag. On the other hand, if we can increase the pressure here, that neutralizes the high pressure at the front of the car and that reduces the pressure drag that way. But there's more to it than that. It also affects the lift. So this rear window here, we can see it's at an angle. It's not completely straight. If it was completely vertical, then the pressure on here, the pressure difference from front to back would manifest itself completely in the drag. But because this is at some sort of angle, there is a component in the lift direction. So the pressure is acting in the drag and also the lift direction. So in terms of this separation compared to flow reattachment with these vortex generators at the rear heel, if you have flow separated, then you get low pressure here. That means that you have low pressure on top, potentially low pressure underneath, maybe high pressure, we don't really know. The fact that we have low pressure on top is not going to be great for lift because it's going to tend towards producing lift. So by having the flow reattach through these vortex generators, in mixing the high momentum fluid into the boundary layer, we can get a higher pressure here, which means that the car is being pushed down more into the ground. That results in more downforce and particularly over the rear of the car. So vortex generators not only affect the drag of the car, but also the lift of the car. And the lift can be re reduced more than the drag. So for example, the drag reduction is usually about 20, 30 counts or so. Some register like three or four counts, others go a bit higher, but about 20 to 30 counts is about the general ballpark. For the lift coefficient, you can routinely see reductions of 50 counts. So that's huge. That can be the difference between producing lift and producing downforce, between being unstable and being stable. So the effects of the vortex generators are usually greater on the lift than the drag. But that's for a sedan. When we get to a hatchback, the story changes a little bit. So for a hatchback, this rear window here, or the, the back, if it's very straight, the angle is very obtuse. It's very, very great. It's This might only be 30 degrees, for example. This might be 80, 90 degrees. As such, to get the boundary layer attached over this rear window now is a huge task. Like, it's almost impossible for that to happen. You can round this corner a little bit and do some things and you might be able to do that. Or you can put massive vortex generators on there and really pump in a lot of high momentum fluid into the boundary layer and hope that it stays attached even a little bit. So that way you get a little bit higher pressure on this back face here. And the problem with that is that a lot of papers, for example, one paper called Comparative Effects of Vortex Generators on Ahmed Square Back and Mini Car, Minivan Car Models, found that you can reduce the drag on this rear face here. So because this rear face is a lot more vertical than this rear window, the pressure is acting more in the drag direction. So how you manipulate the pressure on this rear window or then this rear face, will affect the drag more than the lift. There'll be a little bit of lift changing because of this rear window's angle, but generally it's in the drag direction. So the reduction in drag that you can get from these vortex generators might be in the range of five counts or so, because again, trying to get flow to stay attached over this region is gonna be a massive task. You're only gonna get it maybe over this region here. But the vortex generators themselves they have a drag penalty because they can't be micro vortex generators because they're too big. So they will come with a very strong drag penalty. And as such, the, they often increase the drag more than the reduction you get from the rear window. 
So as such, you don't really see voltage generators on these very square rears here. Uh, that's for that reason, that you get more drag than what you save and the lift isn't really affected very much either. So there's not much of a benefit to doing that. If you had a rear wing down here that you wanted to have the flow stay attached and then hit it, that's a different story. But without this rear wing, then having voltage generators don't really work on hatchbacks and minivans, for example. They're more with the sedan case. And in this case, you could also look at just making this angle rounder or making it flatter so it's not as sharp. So that is how car voltage generators work and their more complicated effects, not just the drag, but also the lift. So this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Peace, me, guys.